What's up YouTube, this is Vez here at Angela's Shoe Polish and on today's video we're going to be restoring some 2014 infrared sixes. To restore these infrared sixes we're going to be using the Angelus' Collector's 2014 infrared paint, some flat white, some leather preparer and deglazer. Also we're going to be icing these yellowed soles and then to clean it up, we're just going to be using some foam text. To start this repaint, we're just going to insert a shoe tree here to straighten out the shoe and give it some backing so we can get a nice, clean, even surface. Okay, now we're just going to give the shoe a good cleaning all around here. And the great thing about foam Tex is really easy to use on multiple surfaces. You don't have to worry about scrubbing too hard, just kind of let the brush do the work. Whatever is left over, you can just pick it up with a rag. It's not a real big mess here, as you can see. Now that that's done, we're going to hit it with some leather preparer and deglazer to try to strip off the, the factory finish here and take some of this old paint off. Uh, as we're going through, we're going to work on some of these tougher areas right here so that way we can blend later with our paint, try to mask some of these imperfections. Mensoles are nice and stripped, and since we're repainting it the same color, you don't really need to worry about getting too deep into the surfaces. But if you're doing this at home, I'd recommend just going down all the way to the base layer. But sometimes when you grind too hard, uh, it will eat up the foam, so you've got to be very careful when you do this. All right, now I'm going to start taping off the soles. And when you're taping up the soles for a repaint, try to get as close as you can to the midsole. That way, um, once you remove the tape, you don't have to do any excess cleanup. If you have a razor blade, I recommend it. Now that we're done taping off the midsoles, let's get ready for a repaint. But uh, one thing I wanted to make clear is that as I was taking off some of the paint, some of it diluted off into the threading. So basically you just mix whatever the color of the upper was or the threads and just mix it in with some too soft, do like a 50-50 ratio. It'll thin out the paint enough to fill in the threading and it won't be too heavy. You'll, you'll get the color back to normal. The great thing about Too Soft is when you do heat it with the heat gun, it activates and it just makes the material back to the original quality it was in, so the texture remains kind of the same. So like I said, when you do this on the threading, it doesn't look like you painted it over, it just looks nice and clean. So now that I got the, the threading touched up, I'm going to move on to the midsoles. It's, it's, it's no big process for these midsoles, I'm just going to do about three to four maybe five to six layers of just nice even thin coats until I feel like it's saturated enough. Generally you want to tape up the uppers when you're painting the midsole but I trust myself enough with the brush to not get any paint on the uppers. It takes some time getting used to but you just generally let the weight of the brush do the work. You don't want to force any of the bristles down and as you can see I can just kind of guide it right on the edge and not have any paint run on. So yeah, once again, just nice thin coats uh, with white. It's really translucent. If you're gonna sit here and you're gonna try to cake it on, you're just gonna, gonna ruin your, your repaint. Usually with white, you just gotta be really patient. Pace yourself. Now that I've finished the uh, white on the midsole, it's time to move up to the uppers. 
I'm gonna focus on the heavily scuffed areas, some light touch-ups on the leather. Very easy, very quick work. Just be careful not to, in my case, to paint the whole shoe. You know, I don't want to change the appearance or texture. I just want to hit up the light areas, you know, clean up some spots, and we'll continue on from there. Now that we have the uppers all nice and repainted, I'm gonna tape off the uppers to work on the midsole. Just make sure you take your time, make sure the edges are sealed, because once you remove the tape and the paint rolls over, uh, it's, it's pretty difficult to cover up another color with white. So just, you wanna save yourself the hassle and just make sure you take your time and do a really quality job. These Angelus Collector's Edition paints were created to match the make and model of a certain specific shoe. So what this particular shade of uh, infrared was made for this exact 2014 model. Now that the infrared's all nice and laid down, I'm gonna be removing the tape. I'm gonna go back and clean up some areas that I might have missed or I might need touching up on. These are the little details you want to do in restorations to make yourself stand out above the rest. So I'm about done with the touch-ups on the midsole and before the shoe can be finished, I gotta hit it up with the Angelus matte finisher here. So on this current restoration, I chose to use a matte finish just because it's the closest thing to the factory. Just be forewarned, this isn't protection, this isn't a sealant, it's merely a finisher. So don't think after you're done with your restorations or your customs, you know, the, your shoes are invincible. It's, it's just merely a sheen you add to the finished product. And then with matte finish, it has the least amount of shine. So you get more of a dull look rather than a really shiny look. So when applying the Angelus Soul Bright, what you want to do is mask off any areas you don't want color bleach. Uh, so what's going to happen is that sometimes certain materials will get damaged from the solution. So um, you want to block that off with tape. You want to tape up the midsoles, any leather uppers, patent leather. This stuff is strong. It will burn through your hands. Yeah. So I'm just doing a nice thin layer. Uh, I say thin layer because with my experience that if you need too heavy of a coat, the UV rays you need to penetrate through the soles can't be reached. Obviously it needs to reach to the soles, so uh, just do yourself a favor. Like I said, this, is, this takes time and patience. Just do nice thin layers. You're going to have to do, you're going to have to do multiple coats no matter how you look at it. I'm gonna be removing the saran wrap. Um, this is after a one hour session. Obviously it's gonna need a whole lot more than that. I'm gonna have to throw the saran wrap away, uh, reapply some more sauce, um, but let's keep it moving. Finish off these restorations, and we'll be using uh, Lace Lab 63 inch flat laces. All right, YouTube, that about wraps it up here on these 2014 infrared sixes. I had a great time working on these shoes for you guys. This custom was made easy thanks to our collector's edition paints, saving me a ton of time on color matching. We'll leave a link in the description below.
Thanks for watching. My name is Vez here at Andrew Shoe Polish. Peace.